Hey guys, how are we doing? Um, so I'm going to do hit workout routine four or five. We're going for wide arm press ups. Um, we're going for flutters. We're going for press up holds with shoulder taps. Um, and then we are going. I always forget the bloody last one. Um, and, and then we're going to go through working for 30 seconds um, and then resting for 15. Sorry, leg raises at the end. Um, just follow. The workout make sure that you've warmed up make sure that you've had some water before you do do this make sure you've got water to hand um, and we'll get straight through it just concentrate on the form rather than the speed of things um, uh, it doesn't matter if you're like more of a beginner or more of advanced okay just work to your limits if you can get through it six times then go through it six times if you can't then go for three it's better than doing nothing all right guys so we're gonna get straight on I've warmed up already done my uh, loosener before this so make sure you've done yours um, and have a great workout Okay, so first thing is wide arm press ups. We're gonna get straight into them. I hate press ups, full stop, but um, I'm gonna challenge myself more. Okay, here we go. So with the wide arm press ups, you want to make sure your arms are a little bit wider than your shoulders, okay? Get them nice and wide apart. Okay, we're going to get ready to go into flutters. Get the shoulders off the floor, squeezing that tummy, legs extended. Okay, here we go. Short and sharp. Don't forget to breathe. Okay, next one's gonna be press up hold with it. You wanna make sure your feet are wide apart to keep the hips isolated. Okay, just a tap on the shoulder and back down into press hold position. Okay, last exercise. Okay, it's gonna be leg raises. Okay. Nice and slow coming down. Bring it up to 12 o'clock position. Slow coming down, head and shoulders off the floor. Okay, first round done. Going into round two, starting with wide arm press ups. Good man, get on that. Here we go. Oh my god, I hate press ups. <laughs> Good though to get them in. If you're weak, it's something making yourself stronger than them. Okay, we're gonna be going into flutters. <sighs> Lock out those legs, head and shoulders up. <sighs> Don't 
Don't forget to breathe. A lot of people always forget to breathe here. Okay. Imagine you've got carts on, locking those legs out, forcing that lower back down. Oh. Oh. No, done in five seconds. Oh. Nice and slow coming down. Don't make it too quick. Work that tummy. Work those muscles groups. Oh. Okay, we're two rounds down. The time goes pretty quick, guys, so make sure that we quickly are ready for those changeovers. 15 seconds is not a long time. Definitely feeling this one already. Good core buster. Ah, oh, last five seconds, come on. Oh. Okay, so we're halfway through. Three more rounds to go, guys. 
If you're following along at home, keep pushing it. Okay, if you need to take longer than 15 seconds, then do in the intervals, whatever it takes to get it done. Ish. Ish. Oh my god. So with these, I want to try not to let the hips move too much, which is why I'm spreading my feet wide apart, dropping my hips, quick, quick shoulder taps. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, two more sets to go, guys. Get at home, keep pushing on, keep pushing hard. Great, straight away. See that 15 seconds come uh, comes round real quick. Core is taking a battering.
Okay. So coming down to the last round, guys. We've been working out for 15 minutes so far. Okay, nice strong workout. Pushing the core. Killing the core. Okay, last two exercises. Okay, going for our last exercise, guys. Leg raises. Oh, good God. All right, guys, good. So hopefully if you've been following along, you can follow that workout. It's more mainly based of core with a little bit of um, um, core conditioning, if you like, um, with the press-ups in there as well. I'm gonna do a quick cool down. You can watch this if you've been following along or you've come back to it later on. You just follow this real quick loosener uh, to help loosen up the abs. Um, and uh, just release some of the lactic that's going on in your torso. So I'm basically just crunching up into a ball, hugging their knees, bringing them in, trying to get better curvature on the spine, loosen up a little bit, and then stretch right out. Stretch, 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 as far as you can.
Okay, last one. Soles down, drive the hips up high, high as you can, squeeze your bum cheeks. Okay, so with the cool down exercises, you can do them for as, uh, as long as you want to keep doing them. They're just good to le uh, release some of the lactic, just stretch out a little bit, save the aches and pains in the next couple of days. Um, don't forget that we're starting April's online boot camp from next week, next Monday. Um, they won't be following along, but I'll certainly be showing you how to do the first set with all the, all the description and, and training plan written down on the post. Um, we're going to be going Monday to Friday. Um, for four weeks, okay, so it's a good opportunity to build up some hip fitness and routine um, If you want to follow along you can do that. We're going again tomorrow um, So I will be coming down here a little bit later. It'll be about half ten uh, to do the live workout Maybe probably 11 in fact after I've taken my morning class um, Providing there's no baby between that here and um, now and then but have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the workout. Just let me know if you did it and how you got on and, uh, and, and if you struggled, where you did you struggle and see if I can help somehow. All right, guys. Take care.